Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to use some of the strobe light effects on different videos in Premiere Pro Creative Cloud Edition. So the first thing you'll do here is cut out the clip of exactly what you want to have that effect on. So I'll just drag this over, find exactly where I want this to stop, cut this here, and about here where I would like it to stop so that you have your clip completely separated from the other ones. So then with that one selected you will want to apply some effects. So you can either search through it up here or you can simply type in strobe and you have strobe light here. So you drag that onto the clip you have selected that you want this effect in. Now by default it's going to look something like this. <laughs> <laughs> which isn't bad but it could use a little bit of work so if you click on effects up top select this clip in here you have a menu where you can change different aspects of your strobe effect so you can do different things like change here say I want 25 percent randomization that'll change the pattern of the strobe light effect to make it a little more random and a little less linear <laughs> as you'll see here <laughs> Now it does this instead because it's randomly generating the strobe effect. In here, you can change the blending. Say I also want 25% on there. That'll make it a little more transparent so you can still see your original image in the background like this. So you can mess around with a few different other options like copy, uh, multiply. These are all things that you, if you work in Adobe Illustrator or anything like that, you'll notice you can use too. They sort of change the way they affect it. Multiply doesn't really do a whole lot. Now if you go say difference, you will get it. So it's sort of inverting your colors. You've got the reverse of pretty much everything on here. So this is kind of a cool effect, although it seems to be kind of likely to give you a seizure as well. So you can change that. I usually like mine still on copy <laughs> with the difference up a little bit. Or sorry, the blend with original percentage, about 25%. Say you wanted the duration to be a little bit longer, you can change it. Standard it's about half a second, but say you want two, it'll make the strobe effect <laughs> last a little bit longer in here. So you can do all kinds of those sort of effects, but that's your basic strobe effect editing. Now say you wanted to do something like a different color. Well you can go in here, say you want it to be a light blue, you can go pick this, and then when you play your strobe effect it's going to have a blue <laughs> hue on it instead of white. <laughs> Now say you wanted to try something different, like instead of just a strobe light color, you wanted it to be with a separate clip. Well, then you could go over, I just need to find something that looks different enough. Uh, let's take one out of Spongebob over here. Then I'll separate my audio groups here. I'm just doing this a little sloppy, I'm just not saving this, I'm just using this as an example piece. So now I have the different video clip here. I can put it right over top, cut it down to the same length. But the difference is in this one, you'll go back to your editing, do the same thing, drag your strobe effect on top of this clip, go back into your effects window, but instead of just changing the color this time on strobe, you can go to make layers transparent, which by default, actually, instead of changing it the color during the duration, let's randomize this one a little bit as well. Uh, let's go, well, let's go 50% on this guy we change this. Now, instead of just a color coming up at a randomized interval, it's going to actually cut your video and make it completely invisible to the bottom layer. So your top layer becomes transparent in those small split second intervals, so it will look something like this. <laughs> so, now that you have yourself the absolute perfect clip, drag in the perfect mood-like music for it, and uh, yeah, you've got the perfect montage material. And there you go. That's how you add a strobe effect in Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud Edition. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out a little bit. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, feel free to like and share. And if you like the videos I'm making, uh, please don't forget to subscribe.